I'm Brayden and you're watching Brayden Whaler Outdoors. What is up guys? Welcome back to Brayden Whaler Outdoors. And today I will be showing you what's in my tackle box. Let's get right into it. Alright, so my tackle box is set up. One, two, three. Folds down nice and easily. We'll start up here at the top. What do we got here? Alrighty. Three different types of worms. We got these. Artificial licorice worms. Hold on, let me redo this set the camera here. Okay. We got these. Another artificial licorice worm. And we got these. Another artificial licorice worm. They work really good for me. I've had good luck with them for hammering big bass. Works good. All right. Um, then we got a bass hook right here. Good stuff. Work good to hammer them. Then we got like a small hook right here. Then I got an even smaller hooks right there. And then got a catfish hook right here. And then let's move on. Now we got some uh, crankbaits. These things are like really good. Oh crap. Oh my god, it's hooked in my shorts. Holy shnikes. After some technical difficulties, we got the crankbait on my shorts. And my shorts are not ripped. So that's always a plus. Like I said, crankbait, this is a bit of a longer one with a big spoon in the front. Um, this one's um, a longer one, but smaller. It's got the gills on the side. Then this one is about medium, smaller. That first one I showed you is probably my biggest one. These are my small ones right here. Small little ones. Um, and then these are my uh, big fat ones. You got this one. And then you got... Ah, gosh, dang it. Don't you just love when you're trying to take apart your hooks and they all get stuck? And then you end up hooking your finger and it starts bleeding. Good times. Good times. Then I got this one right here. And I'll throw these all. Oh, holy shnikes. Dang. Like I said, I got my finger good there. But we're all right. That hurt like a devil. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Best part of fishing. Now I go down to the bottom. Scissors for wire cutting. I've had to do that a lot. Not fun. Not fun. Hold on. All right, we're good. Um, brand new spiffy wire or rod holder. Wire rod holder. Just stick it in the ground. Put your pole in. Let it sit there. Let the catfish nibble. This is what you use. Go in the fish's mouth. Pull the hook out. Or if you want to torture your little siblings, you can say you're playing evil dentist. Oh, I need to throw. I use this glove to take out that nasty hot dog bait. I, hot dog bait I made. If you want to go see that video, it's a few videos ago. Um, yeah, it's kind of nasty. So let's move on. Oh snap! I forgot. No, I forgot. I forgot about my spinners. This is a homemade spinner my stuff put it on the edge of the line and then you use this thing right here bottom bouncer put it on your pole and it bounces once it hits the ground it bounces then you have a spinner behind it and you troll along in a boat and that's how you catch walleye so that's the bottom bouncer i got this homemade spinner then i got oh a spinner hooked to my shirt this spinner right here good stuff um, I'm pretty sure this is one of those things you use to push, uh, hooks out of a fish's mouth. If it's not, let me know down in the comments. Um, bell. You put this on your line and you have it set in a pole holder and it, sh and it rings, not shakes, rings when it, um, there's a fish on. Knife. I don't know why I have it in here. I just had it in here to cut stuff. Not a flaying knife, obviously. Uh, cracked bobber. Who doesn't love a nice cracked bobber? 
Um, big bobber, smaller bobber, smallest bobber. And then, alrighty, looky here. You guys do not know what this is. I will show you. I feel really dumb right now. I don't even remember what it's called. I want to say twine, but that's not right. Let's just call it fish string. I feel so dumb right now. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, so what you do is you put it through the fish's gill. Put it through the gill. Then you hook it through here. Like so. And then you stick it in the ground. And you can keep the fish in the water so they don't die. If you don't have like a live well or a bucket or whatever. Good way to use it. Um, I mean, like... I haven't used it yet because all of my fish have not been of size, but we're going to catch the big one. Oh, and finally, this is not in my tackle box, but I figured I'd show you guys. Brand new spank and pull open face reel. For you people who don't know how to use open face reels, you hold it like this, grab your line, flip it, throw it, let go of the string as you throw it. So if you don't hold on to it, then it's going to... Let go and go in the water everywhere, and that's going to be a big freaking mess. And then you just spin. I got the, I got a green one, lose, what's it say? Um, HS1 Hypersonic Speed Stick. I had to get green to match my tackle box. Dang, this is a long one. Have to get a big fat one soon. Ooh, nice rod. Gonna go out to a lake by my house here soon with this new baby. See how many bluegill, catfish, bass we can hammer with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I just gotta get some of the braided line to put on here. And uh, hopefully that'll be soon. Unfortunately, guys, that is the end of the video. I know, it was a good one. But make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm not sure what I'll be doing. We'll probably go out to the lake, like I said, to go fishing. That should be fun. But like I said, stay tuned. And um, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.